apparently there is some drama going on. Well, where's the mother tarantula? Really fascinating. Come on, jump in and get inspired. The night is my favorite time in a tropical rainforest, when many nocturnal creatures leave their shelters. This katydid mimics a dry leaf. A male Psalmopoeus or Dunkus tarantula searches for a female to mate with. The scorpion mother carries her offspring on her back. High up in the rainforest canopy, 20 meters above ground in a tree hole. Ants. Ants are almost everywhere. Leaf cutter ants are collecting leaf pieces to feed the fungi, which they eat then. Everyone fears the bullet ants. A troop of army ants crosses my trail. I'm on my way to one of my study trees. Stichoplastoris obelix is a ground-dwelling tarantula species endemic to Costa Rica. This is female number 99. I encounter her normally like this, in her burrow. It is located beside a trail. But this time, apparently there is some drama going on. There are plenty of ants here, and they have entered the burrow of the tarantula. And it seems she's got some offspring, which I didn't know yet, although I'm visiting her for some weeks already. The spiderlings have gathered in front of the burrow. I have no clue where the mother is. Anyway, I show you now how it looks like. Okay, now the small grey patch here. This here, those are the baby tarantulas. And there are the ants. The ants are Labidus coecus. It is an army ant species that usually hunts small arthropods in the underground. And this is the entrance of the burrow. Anyway, we will see what's going to happen. Whether uh, it returns to normal state after the ants have gone, or whether they take over the tarantula burrow. Well, we will see. The interesting point is the dynamics of the forest. Things are changing all the time. One is surveying something and one thinks, I come along, expect this and that, and all of a sudden everything is different, like this time. That's the embankment of the trail. Well, where's the mother? Seems like she's not here. I search for her. Now the mystery of the lost mother is finally settled. She has just come out. And she is right in front of me. There are even more ants around. Apparently they have turned her out. But it seems the ants are not, are not predatory at all because they do not show any interest in the spiderlings. Rather, 
they are carrying some organic matter out of a burrow. Interestingly, the tarantulas don't attack the ants either. Although the size of the ants fits the prey spectrum of the spiders. But maybe the spiderlings are not ready to hunt yet. Maybe they need some more days to get ready for hunting. Seems like the ants had only extracted some organic matter out of the burrow, nothing more. I assume that the spiderlings are also back in the burrow, as it has to be. So I leave them alone and go my way, to my tree which I'm going to climb now. Let's see what's going on uh, up there tonight. Well, see you. That was very awesome. Those were five raccoons. I mean, four cubs and the mother, I guess. And they came very close to me. They were like 10 centimeters away. Really fantastic. Quite amazing tonight. And I wonder what else is gonna happen. Now I'm back to the tarantula for some photos. I try to tickle her out using that stick. Well, it's not so easy to keep her in good mood, because every time I move, she goes back into her burrow. Spiders can sense the vibration. Ah, so close. She got into her shelter. Now, uh, it's gonna be a matter of patience. Um, she disappears in her burrow. I tickle her out, take one or two photos, and then she disappears again. Yeah, this goes back and forth until I have enough photos or she has enough of me. <laughs> 